Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello. It's nice seeing you again. How are you? How was uh, how was work today? Yes. Everything good? It's good. All right. <clears throat> so tell me what well, what's good. How was how was work? Um, I am work at finish at five. Uh, five the uh, <clears throat> five what yes I think you lost your I don't know what happened to your connection how about you Maximo how was your day today Everything good? Maximo? Sorry. See, my day was good. All right. How how was work? Hmm. I I do, I did um, several um, works. <laughs> you, you did, okay. Uh, several tasks. You you had, several, okay, you did several tasks? Uh-huh. All right, okay. In my job. <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, how about you, Sylvia? How was your, how was your work today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, very good. I went to uh, I went to, to work, and I went uh, the doctor. You went to the uh, doctor. Yes. Nice. Why? <laughs> why did you have to go to the doctor? Excuse. So why did you have to go to the doctor? I um, um, <laughs> let's see, it. It's okay. Try it. Try to if you don't know vocabulary, try to explain it in a in a different yeah. way. Um, I have a date. You you had a what? I'm sorry. Um, you had a I you had an know. you had an appointment. You mean an appointment? Una cita, right? Con el doctor. Yes. That's an appointment. Appointment. Yeah, an appointment. So you had an, an appointment with the doctor, right? Okay. Thank you. Okay. So so how was it? How was the appointment with the doctor? Appointment. Um, I have a problem um, no sé, in the chest. Oh, really? <clears throat> yes. Wow, I'm so sorry to hear that. Are you better now? Mm. Is it all better now? Y... No sé qué dice. Is it better now? Are you feeling better now? Se siente mejor ahora. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Hey, guys, uh, when you don't understand something, cuando no entienden algo, okay, please let me know, okay? I will not speak Spanish. I don't like speaking Spanish. You should not be used to getting people speaking Spanish, okay? But when you don't understand something, please let me know, all right? Sounds good? Cuando no entienden algo, por favor, avísame, all right? Sounds good, ladies and gentlemen. Yes or no? Okay. Okay. 
Yes, All teacher. Right. Yes, teacher. All right, awesome. So, guys, uh, let's get started, right? So, in today's agenda, guys, we're going to continue talking about relative clauses, right? So, yesterday, we went over the... Um, we went over the use of relative pronouns, right? So what is a relative pronoun? First of all, it's a pronoun, right? So we said that we are going to talk about three specific pronouns. What are those three specific pronouns that we're going to talk about? What do you think? Who, that? Who, that? Okay. So we are going to talk about who and that. All right. Um, and which other one? We're missing one. Wish. We're going to talk about which, not wish. Right. We're going to talk about which. Okay. So we're going to talk about three of them. So what do we use? What do we use uh, that for? For for what do we use it? Tell me. For subject. We use it for subject. Pers person. We use it for people. Okay, people. for people mm -hmm. and what else? Object. We use it for uh, objects too, right? For people mm -hmm. and, and things, object. right? And animals, right? Mm -hmm. That very good, mm -hmm. very good, right? Good job, good job. Hey, nice. You were paying attention. Okay, good job. Okay, and what is a clause? Who can tell me what a clause is? Class is a group of words. It's a group of words. That, that okay. it's not only that, a group of that, words, right? That that have a, a subject, verb, and um, predicate. All right. It's a group of words that contains a subject and a verb, right? Or a subject and a predicate. Mm -hmm. Very good job. Very good job. Very good. Good. You were paying attention. I like that. I really like that. Thank you very much. Right. So what would be an example of a clause? Who can tell me? Who else guys can tell me what it, um what what an example of a clause can be? An example? Yes. Um I run a lot in the morning. I run a lot in the morning, right? I'm, uh, oh, for that I'm uh, tired now. All right, okay, all right, awesome. Okay, that is a very good example. Okay, all right, very good guys. So, well, let's let's continue then, okay? Give me one second. All right. So, anyways, um, so we said, guys, that we're gonna talk about who, we're gonna talk about which, and we're gonna talk about that, right? And we know the three usages. So now, we are going to combine what we know from relative pronouns with clauses okay so we're going to combine the, the two things okay so for example right we have we have um defining and non-defining relative clauses here right now do, do my favor guys real quick i want you i want you to come up with your examples on relative clauses okay now I'm going to teach you what the difference is between them all. And then, you know, um, you come up with your own examples. Okay. So a relative clause will start with a relative pronoun. For example, for example, this, right? So you can say, um, 
you know, I like people who are good at singing. Now, remember, a relative clause is going to be called a relative clause. Like this, right? A relative clause is going to be called a relative clause because it starts with a relative pronoun, okay? This right here, guys. I'm sorry, right? we're going to call this part right here a relative pronoun, okay? Now, a relative pronoun is the beginning of a relative clause, all right? So, um, so you say who are good at singing, right? And then you say, I like people. And then who are good at singing. All right. So this part right here is called what? What do we call this here? What do we call something that has a pronoun, right? A pronoun is the subject of the sentence, right? This can be the subject of the sentence, right? So we got a pronoun and then we got a predicate here, right? So how do we call this? Clause. It's a clause, right? Yeah. And because, because we are starting with the word who, it's called, what type of clause is that? It's like a relative clause, right? Relative the whole, clause. right, very good. So all this thing here is called a, I'm sorry, not that, here, right? So all this here, okay, all right? So all this here, this is called a relative clause, okay? Sounds good? So you can say like that. Uh, I think, what was the example that we got in the, platform i like guys okay we'll, we'll go with i like right or i i would prefer or you know let's go with uh i prefer uh food that is not so salty for example so i can say this am i right i prefer food that is not so salty what about this? Can, can I say this, guys? I prefer food that is not so salty. <laughs> yes, I can definitely say this, right? I prefer food that is not so salty. Okay, so can you identify the relative pronoun here? That. All right, the relative pronoun will be that. Can you identify the relative clause? That is not so salty. Very good. That is not so salty, right? This right here is the relative clause, right? So when, we, when I say, guys, I like people and I prefer food, are these um, clauses too or not? It's a yes. class. Yes. yes, it's a class. They are clauses, right? What type of clause is this? It's, it's called, this is called the main clause, okay? However, the main. What the, okay, the main clause is talking about, what type of clause is it? Because we are, we have two groups, right? We have to, like two big groups. We have... Independent clause? We have independent. dependent and independent clauses, right? So we have, right? So this is an independent clause, right? Good job, right? So this is an independent clause. Okay. And this right here, hold on. Right, so independent clause. And this right here is also an independent clause, right? So we have two. We have two independent clauses, right? So we're joining, guys, a 
so now this is a relative clause, but a relative clause, guys, it's it's uh it's also something else, right? A relative a relative clause is part of another group of clauses because we only have we have two big groups we have two big group of clauses right so a relative clause guys is it a dependent or independent clause it's on the it's a dependent, dependent clause? clause it's dependent very good okay so very good a relative clause guys is within a dependent clause okay so mm -hmm. in other words right Una wait, relative clause is es, es parte del grupo de dependent clauses, right? So a dependent clause, okay? So if if they ask you, hey, you know what? What what, uh, what type what is a relative clause, right? Oh, you know what? Uh, it's part of the dependent clauses, okay? So we have a relative clause is part of the dependent clauses, right? Because we have dependent and then we got independent right next to it, right? So yes, this right here is indeed a relative clause, okay? So now do me a favor. I want, well, first of all, do we have any questions? No. Okay. So in your notebook, okay, in your notebook, I want you to give me, um, you're going to give me, in your notebook, right? You're gonna uh, write down 10 examples using who and that, okay? Remember that that can also be used for people. So you can say, I like people that are good at singing, okay? So I want 10 examples. I want five with who and I want five with that. And follow, I want you to follow this example, okay? Sigan el ejemplo que yo les di. You can say, I like people. Pueden empezar con eso, right? Or I prefer people, or I, I prefer food, or I prefer, in vez de comida, digan algo más, right? Sounds good? Yeah. So, all right, so let's let's yes. have 10 examples in your notebook, okay? And then I'm going to ask everyone. Okay.
All right, so how are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? So far, so good? For me, it's not work. <laughs> all right, all right, sounds good, sounds good, continue. I, I, I tried. Okay, all right, no worries, okay, 10 examples, 10 examples. Teacher, one question. Yes, tell me, tell me, please. You can change the name people for the other name? Yes, you for, can. For, for example, I can say, I like play, who are, who are good a player. No, you need to or, say, you need to use a group of things. So you can say, I like animals that are not so aggressive, for example, aggressive, right? Or you can say, I like computers that are fast. You need to use a group of things or people. Got it? So here, this part right here, ladies and gentlemen, this part right here requires a group of things or people, okay? It has to be a group of something, okay? Right, it's only for people and um, think. And animals, I, it's for a group of, it's for a group of things, okay? It needs to be a group of things. Okay? Does that make sense now? Yes, I got it. All right. All right, awesome. Okay, so, so you got some of your examples. Okay, so guys, have you completed all 10 examples now? Yes, I, I think. You have? Okay, Yes, but right. I, I, don't, I don't know if uh, that is correct. If they are correct, if I, if I have some mistake, you can help me, please. Absolutely, Before. yes. Yes, I get him so late uh, at the class. All right, yeah, absolutely, no problem. Yes, Thank I would so gladly much. help you. So, all right, so let me hear one of your examples. Guys, do me, do me a favor, guys, if you're not participating, right now I need to meet yourself, okay? All right, but anyways, uh, go ahead, Morena. Okay, yes, um, number one, uh, I, would, I like, Singer who sing romantic music. Okay, so it's I great. I like singers who sing romantic music. Romantic music. Good job. That is perfect. Uh huh. Another one. Uh, I like who loves eat candies. I like what? I like people who loves. Now, people who loves the loves part. Is incorrect, and I'll tell you why. Uh -huh. All right, people. People is is it singular or plural? Plural. So what do we use with plural? Do we use is or do we use are? Uh, I I was I was wrong first 
I like Katy Perry who love eat candies, but I change for people. I don't know if correct if I say I like Katy Perry. No. Katy Perry. Would be correct. Who love uh -huh. is, is Katy Perry a group of things? No, it's a no, right? So you cannot say I like Katy Perry. Yeah. Because we need to use a group of, so you can say I like people who are. That's the problem, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Um what? Okay. All right, very good. Okay. okay, and and so and so um I can I say I like people who are low. Who are lovely. Perhaps, right? Ah, uh, okay. Lovely. No, lovely. It candies. What? Yes. No. Who? You mean who love? Who love to eat, eat candies? Eat candies. Yes. Yeah, you can say this. I like people who love to eat candies, right? Uh, Very good. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna give you guys. I'm gonna give you three more minutes so so you finish, and then I'll ask you again. Okay. Give me one moment. Um. Um. Morena. I'll keep asking, yes, okay? Course. Thank you. Okay, okay. All right, so now let's see what we got. So let's see, all right, so I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna start asking everyone now, guess, because everybody should be done. Uh, let's go with Mario, or, well, Mario Rene, Oriana, you sent me yours, right? I love Oloquilto, where my parents lived. But let's go with December 1st, the day that I was born in, actually. You reason the preposition there. I'm preparing 10 relative pronouns, examples. No, the 10 examples of relative pronouns that I learned in the, this class. All right, very good. Let's go with uh, Alejandro Ruiz. All right, let's see what you got. Mm, okay. Well, who 
school, the first fight that I have, it's kids who hate candy. Candies are common. He has a son who is a doctor. My brother met a woman who I used to work with. The people who live in, in El Salvador are very friendly. And my brother, who I live with, knows a lot about soccer. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Very, very, very good job. I like those examples. Really good. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Diego Vega, what do we got? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Uh, well, I have I play video games that are scary. I love animals that are chubby. I visit someone who doesn't want me in his house. I don't know if that is correct. I visited. Vis oh, well, oh, yeah, visited. Are you talking if you're talking in the past? Are you talking in the past? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Visited. Sorry. And Oh, my cousin who doesn't know anything about El Salvador. Uh, I don't know if I can say really love it. Oh, yeah, really love it. Okay. All right. Really good job. Um, really good job. Uh -huh. What else? Okay. What else? I sang a song that is really sad. I wish a team that were as good as the others. I wish what? I'm sorry. I wish a team that were as good as the others. I'm not understanding that one. Mm. I, I wish, I wish. A team. A, a team of what? Uh, for example, a team of soccer, for example. I just say a team, but yeah, like I a wish, group of person. So I wish, I wish my soccer team Oh yeah, we're as oh. good as the others. Yeah, but yes. but where is the where is the relative clause? Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to add in. Okay, yeah, I forgot that. Okay, no no problem. <laughs> sorry. Right. Do you have more uh, examples? Uh, just another one. I like people who respect the others. Very good. Repeat others. Others is an animal. You say other. Uh, others is uh, an other uh, is an animal. Uh huh. Okay. It's other with th, right? Okay. Other others. Is an anim other is person. An other is animal. What? No, no. Oh, an okay. Other. If you say other, that's an animal. Okay. Okay. Right. It's other. And others. Others. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. No problem. Thank good you. job, man. Good job, right? Thanks to you guys. All right, so that was Diego, right? Let's go with uh, Jaime Rodriguez. Let's go, Jaime. Yes, sir. Right, Let, let's hear your examples now, okay? Um, I like people who are dancing a lot. I like I people like... who are dancing a lot, who dance yeah. a lot, who dance a lot. Who dance? Who who uh, dance a lot? Who dance? Who dance. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I like people who are very happy. Okay. Uh, I like people that is not a is small. Now remember, people, guys. The word "people" is plural. Okay. You say people are, not people is. All right? People is does not exist. Sounds good? Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, we're saying those examples again, but let's correct that part, please. I'm sorry. No more. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Good job, man. Good job. All right. Well done. Good, 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 good. Good job. Okay. All right, so then let's go with uh, Julio Cesar. So Julio Cesar, let's go, Julio. Okay. Uh, I like animals who are friendly. Now, animals 
Are animals people? No. So you do not say who, right? Because they are not people. You use, what should you use? What relative pronoun do you use for animals? Which? That. Okay, use that. All right? So, all right, so let's go. So let's continue. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one is, I like people who play your soccer well. I like people who play soccer what? Well. Well, okay. What else? What else do we got? Is that it? Okay. All right, very good. No problem, no problem, okay? All right. So then uh, let's have... Um, uh, Jamie, Jamie Lopez. Do we have a Jamie Lopez here? Lopez. Hello, Jamie. Are you there? No? All right, very good. So let's go with Julio Cesar Serrano. Let's go, Julio. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Luis Carranza. Okay. I have seven, seven examples. The first one is I love plants that don't need much care. Okay. Um, I would like to travel to a new place that is not close to my country. All right. Very good. What else? I prefer to have co-workers who don't ask a lot of questions. I prefer to have co-workers who don't ask a lot of questions. All right. What else? Uh, I like new cars that don't need repairs i like new cars that don't need repairs very good good job that one is good mm -hmm. i like that too what else the cafeteria where i buy coffee is the best the cafeteria where i buy coffee is the best okay very good what else uh, i still remember excuse me i still remember the day when i take my first flight when I when I when I took when I took my first my first flight. All right, my first flight with a T at the end. Flight. Flight. Okay. Right. What else? Uh, this tree, which is very old, is uh, one hundred years old. This tree, which is very old, is one hundred years old. Good job, all right? Well done. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, okay, so Sylvia, do you have yours? Okay. Uh, I have a question. Tell me. Is necessary use only the bed to be? Is it necessary? Repeat, is it necessary? Repeat, okay. is it is necessary? It necessary? And continue with the rest of the question, right? Is it necessary to use the verb be only? Uh you can you can use other verbs, that, but that then you know if you if you change the structure, you will change the the clause, right? So it will not be a relative clause anymore. So you can say I like people uh who sing Good music. So you can, yeah, you can use some, you can use other verbs. You can say, mm -hmm. I like people who sing good music. Mm -hmm. And that, okay. and that, and those are, you know, relative clauses as well. Yes. Okay. Um, the first is, I like people who are social, social. 
or friend, friendly. Social, sociable or friendly. Social. Sociable. Sociable. Uh -huh. The adjective is sociable. Sociable. Or friendly, friendly. right? Okay. Yes. I I love cats that is a small cat. That are. That are. Uh -huh. I love I love cats that are small. Now you don't need to say that are small cats because you, we know that you're talking about cats, right? Mm, in this case, uh, is cat is singular. So you say or I not? like I like a cat, but no, you cannot say I like. Yeah, you can say I, I like a cat that are that is yeah but then you need to say a cat but, uh -huh, but yeah. you, need, you need to talk about a group of things right that's where we use plurals okay okay um, i work in factory that is a very company no i work i work in a factory in I a work, factory i work in a I factory in a factory that is that is good. Good company. No. We know mm -hmm. that it's a company already. That it's a factory, right? So <laughs> I work in a factory that is good. You don't need okay. to mention the same noun again. That's why we have a pronoun, right? That's why we have a relative pronoun because the whole point is for you not to repeat the same noun again. Got it? So we are not supposed to repeat it, right? So okay. you don't you don't mention that again, okay? What else do you have? Okay. okay. Um, my sister is crying. Who have the flu? Her son. No, 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 no. That that one. No. I don't know what you what what do you want to say? Like say it in Spanish. I want to understand what you're trying to say there. Uh, mi hermana está llorando por. Quien tiene enferma su hija, gripe, su hija. That doesn't even make sense in Spanish. I would think that you wanted to say my, my brother is crying because his, his, his daughter is sick. Right? Sick. But then that is not a relative clause. So no. Uh, no, that's not, that's not a relative clause. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay, very good. Okay. Am I missing anybody, guys? Falta alguien? Am I missing anybody, ladies and gentlemen? Or not? We're good? All right. Very good. So if I don't have any more examples, let's continue. Okay. So uh, let's continue with this part right here. Okay. All right. So Is now. Is that uh, uh, if classes? <laughs> the what? If if clauses is other topic or is interrelative in clauses? No, Ooh. we're not we're not talking about if clauses today, no. Okay. No. Uh yeah, no, I shared another screen, but that not have any if if uh if clauses, so no. Anyway, so let's continue. All right. So take a look at these examples, right? So you gave me really good examples, right? And uh, we have some examples here, which are using who or that, right? For people, you can say that's a man who or that, you can use either of them offered me the job, right? So you gave me good examples here, right? Again, who or that for people. And then when we talk about things or animals, we can say that's a house in which or in that or that, that, or that, in that they lived, or all, all their lives, right? So you can say you can see that the that uh, we're using, you know, there is a good example here on uh, why we use relative clauses, right? So that's the man, my mother, soldier, brother. That's the house in, right? Is being joined with. Who are that offered me the job, right? So we have relative, we have dependent clauses right next to them. Okay. So that's you know, that's that's the reason why we have relative clauses. Okay. Now, 
another thing, guys, that it's important to point out is the fact that we can use phrases, you know, as nouns. Hey, how is that possible? Yes, take a look at this, right? We can say, I want you to notice, I want you to tell me something. This is one sentence, right? So from this sentence, I'd like you to tell me what is the subject of this sentence? What is the subject here? I. Subject. I is the subject? Okay. Would you agree, guys? One thing I'd like to have is my brother's car. So I is the subject? Car. Car is the subject. Car. Perhaps cars is the subject. Okay. All right. Um, anybody else? My. My is the subject. Okay. Sounds good. Anybody else? Quien da más? One thing I would like. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What else, ladies and gentlemen, from the flood universe? Mm -hmm. I, uh, I, I, to me, uh, the subject is the thing that I like to have. The thing that I like to have. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. I like that. I like it. Okay. So, guys, congratulations. Who who said that? Who, who gave me the last answer? ¿Quién acaba de decir lo que dijo? It was me, uh, Diego. Yeah. Yeah. Diego. All right. Applause for Diego, guys. Hold on, Diego. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Thank you. Very good. Now, guys, this is the subject. Okay. So, guys, a phrase, a phrase can be the subject of a sentence, okay? Una frase puede ser el sujeto de una oración. Why? Because what is a subject? Do you know what a subject is, guys? Do you know what it does? ¿Cuál es el trabajo? Imagine the, you know, imagine the subject is a worker, right? It's a person who works. What is its job? Imagínense que es un trabajador, right? Que le pasa dando ahí todo el día y, y no le pagan bien. So, so, ¿qué hace? ¿Cuál es el trabajo del sujeto? Uh, work. Okay, work, but working as what? Pero. ¿De qué trabaja? It works. Okay, listen. It works. Okay. It's whoever or whatever we talk about. Okay, listen to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, a subject. A subject is whoever or whatever we talk about. What is the subject, guys? Whoever or whatever whoever. we talk about. Exactly, right? Es quien sea o lo que sea a lo que nosotros nos referimos cuando estamos hablando. Got it? Okay. So, in this case, okay? okay. In this case, is my brother's car. Is my brother's car, right? What is the subject here? In other words, you know, who or what am I referring to or talking about, right? Am I talking about, right? De quién o de qué estoy hablando? Am I talking about, am I talking about uh, about uh, one? Am I talking about thing? Am I talking about I? What am I talking about? Guys? What are I'm talking, talking about, about the thing I like to have. 
right? Are we talking about, right? So, no, that's not the right answer. Who or what are we talking about? My I'm brother's cars. cars. I'm talking, guys, I'm talking about all of this. Una cosa que me gustaría tener. De eso estoy, a eso me estoy refiriendo, right? This is talking about all of this. Got it? Okay. okay. So, one thing I like to have is the whole subject. All right? The whole phrase is the subject. I'm going to give you another example because you can use them with relative pluses too, right? So you can say this. You can say this, okay? Singing music for all these years uh, is something that I enjoyed. No, hold on, let's change that. Okay, singing music for all these years is um, is um, what I like. Okay, let's make it more simple. No, no, no. We need to do this. Has been um, what I um, what I liked the most. Right. Now this makes sense now. All right. So singing music for all these years. Now this is not a a relative clause. We're gonna get there, but I want you to notice that we can uh, work with. We can we can have a whole phrase as a sentence, right? As a subject. So where is the subject of this sentence? What do you think? Singing music for all Sing these years. For all exactly, year. right? Because singing music for for all these years, um, <clears throat> singing music for all these years is what we are referring to, what we are talking about, right? So the subject, guys, of this sentence is this, okay? This is the subject, right? Why? Because... That is what we are referring to. Sounds good? Yeah. All right. Awesome. You, you're getting it, guys. You're getting it, okay? So you can say, you know, uh, you can say, um, I like, let's go with, I like motorcycles. No, I like, no, hold on. I like, um, I like motorcycles, right? That are, that, uh, that are fast, right? You can say, I like motorcycles that are fast, right? So, Again, here, where do we have the relative class? Is the relative class is that are fast? Very good, right? So we say that are fast, right? So do you think it's possible to change this for a phrase? Instead of just saying motorcycles or not. <laughs> All right, you could say, you can say, um, Uh, let's see. You can say, I like going to gyms, right, every day, right, that are uh, close to my house, 
Okay. So in this case, what would you consider to be the, the you know, the, the thing that we're talking about? So in other words, the subject. What? I like going to gym. Okay, I like going to gyms, right? Or even like, I like going to gyms every day, right? Because we're talking about this part right here, okay? So it is possible to use phrases, okay? Now we're gonna see more about that later, guys, but so far, guys, so far, all right? Have we learned anything new today? Yes, are we learning anything? Are we, are we learning? Yes, we learn, we learn a lot. Clear, clear as vodka, petrol, 3,000% alcohol. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> All right. Hey, don't drink. Okay, don't drink. But if you do, invite me. What do you No, no, pero si lo hacen, inviten. No, I'm kidding. All right, so guys, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Okay, bye. Bye-bye, guys. Good night. Okay, bye -bye. Goodbye, teacher. Thank you so much. No, bye.